Okay, so now that we have a good understanding of just some of the different components of the blood, uh, some of the functions of the different uh, white blood cells, um, now we're going to get into uh, hematopoiesis. And when we break that word down, what that means, uh, so poiesis is referring to production. So we're referring to the production of blood. So the production of blood, right, referring to hemato. So uh, hematopoiesis, this is a um, process in which differentiation occurs, meaning that we start with stem cells and then we um, will finally end up with our completely uh, mature or our completely developed specific, uh, specific types of cells that have uh, specific functions. Okay. So where are the stem cells, where are they found here? So um, this schematic, let me kind of like give you a general overview of what this schematic is showing. So these here are the stem cells and they will further differentiate into their um, specialized cell. And where these stem cells originate from is primarily within bone marrow. So bone marrow, I'm going to use this one actually. Uh, bone marrow is found uh, within, is mainly found within the axial skeleton. So the particular bones, it's found um, first off within the sternum and the ribs. It's also found within verte the vertebrae. found within the vertebra as well as the pelvis. And the bone marrow is found at the center of these bones. Okay, so let's identify these particular stem cells. So starting here at the top, this is the hematopoietic the hematopoietic stem cell. And the hematopoietic uh, stem cell, it has to undergo differentiation. And in order for differ differentiation to happen for this pathway to continue, you need what's known as cytokines. Some of the specific cytokines <coughs> include interleukins, so inner meaning between and then the white blood cells. So you need interleukins and then also colony stimulating factors. Okay, so let's uh, look here at the very end and then work our way um, back up. So once again, urethrocytes, they are, they are known as um, red blood cells, and where where do they, uh, how do they get to this point? So blast means build, and so you start this uh, hematopoietic stem cell will differentiate into a what's known as a myeloid stem cell. So this myeloid stem cell will further differentiate into these particular cell lines here, and. For their urethrocytes, it starts with urethro, urethroblast. And their urethroblast, they develop into reticulocytes. So this whole process all along here, right, once I start filling this in, all of this is what's occurring within the bone marrow. And then from here, this is where these particular cells will be found in the blood, and then uh, some cells need to go further differentiation uh, within the tissues. Okay, so we've completed the journey for the urethrocytes or the red blood cells, and then so now we're going to move on to thrombocytes, or they are also known as um, platelets. So platelets, let me write this up here. So platelets, they are thrombocytes. 
platelets are responsible for um, clotting, the clotting of blood. So you have thrombocytes here, and these, were, um, what they come from is the mega karyo, so the mega karyocytes. And mega karyocytes, they come from the uh, mega karyoblast. So with the mega karyo, mega karyocytes, uh, further differentiate into the thrombocytes. They're, the mega karyocytes, they're these large, these large cells, and they will rupture. And when they rupture, that's when they produce the thrombocytes or the, the platelets. Okay, so then moving on to the granulocytes. Granulocytes, they develop from what's known as, so you have mega karyocytes, and then you have uh, monocytes, monocytes there. Uh, granulocytes develop from the myelocytes. And myelocytes develop from myeloblast. So if you kind of like see the trend here, this is also the same case um, moving this way. You have monoblast and then they become um, monocytes. It's the same thing here. But the trend is the same as far as the name doesn't really change except for the suffix. The only one that's a little bit different here is the urethroblast and then the reticulo, uh, reticulocytes. Okay, so let's go back to the, uh, to the myelocytes. So myelocytes differentiate into the granulocytes um, within the blood. And these are the granulocytes, once again, that we've already, that I talked about in the previous lecture, kind of like their function. Um, because the white blood cells can be divided into granulocytes versus agranulocytes. So these here are the granulocytes, and then these are the agranulocytes. Um, but, so you have the granulocytes here, and then uh, moving onward for the monocytes, they further differentiate uh, within the tissues. They can differentiate into dendritic cells, as well as macrophages. Okay, so what we just talked about over here, once again, this is mainly associated, or this um, cell line here is mainly associated with innate immunity. Um, I'm pointing this out because on this side, the hematopoietic stem cell will divide into what's known as a, a lymphoid to a, a, a lymphoid stem cell and then the lympho uh, the lymphoid stem cell the name doesn't really change here so it goes from a lymphoblast to a lymphocyte and these cell lines will further uh, differentiate into uh, B lymphocytes or we call them B cells you have T cells, and then you also have natural killer cells. So this is here um, within the blood, and then once it gets, uh, once you get to the tissues, uh, some of the specialized cells that are found here. So B cells develop, um, B cells develop into plasma cells. And then T cells develop into cytotoxic T cells as well as helper T cells. And then we already have the differentiated um, natural killer cells. Okay, so that's gonna do it for uh, hematopoiesis.